overnight i lost all my job and income in the street there was a sense of complete magnetic repulsion in the air and human nature is that we're just carrying on as as nothing happened For the past three weeks, uh, me and four other fantastic dance artists, we have been researching and developing some ideas related to the pandemic and, and how we felt our body responds to that. Bodies alone, bodies distant, bodies in a line, Bodies to be avoided, bodies covered, bodies disobedient, bodies flattened on the screen, bodies of the dead. Obviously we all have lived experience of this, all the artists that I work with. So during the, the conversations I was asking what was your reality, Tia Hockey, dance artist, she said it was fragile stability. She felt how fragile is everything that we built up. Deep Raj Singh, he said, I went into over-analytical mode. So his, his key word was analyzing. For Subhash Viman Gorania, the other art, dance artist, there was an opportunity. He was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take this, learn a new language. And for Harrison Claxton, it was um, over-production. He's like, I need to do more push-up than normal. Just keep producing, make more dance than normal. It was so confusing in a, in a way, but I thought the common factor is the body. And that's how I, I thought, I call it the body recall. I consolidated everything to a concept which is my space against your space. And the pandemic really exaggerated the, the, the politics of my space. Uh, I mean, I'm a migrated artist. I'm originally from India. So quite a lot of things I went through anyway without the pandemic. One thing I thought was the, the aspect of terrorism disappeared. I used to get checked for that brown guy walking in. But during the pandemic, that disappeared. But there is a different type of tension in the air, which was a really, really strong suspicion about every other human being from a very bodily perspective, first and foremost. But, but also, it slightly mixes with the other, the feeling of the other mixed with this underlining viral suspicion. We did learn quite a lot about our bodies during the lockdown and which is exactly why I arrived at making this piece because do you remember the amount of Zoom classes, Zoom lessons, yoga, everyone suddenly started, started, started giving online yoga lessons. Body is not just something to carry the brain around. Suddenly we thought, let's look after the body which is the only home we have. Personally, as an artist, making a piece about any trauma is, is in a way, is, is, that is why I'm an artist. It, 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 that's my mental health process <laughs> in some ways. To, to physicalize these ideas, take it out, to, to, to present realities in a slightly different form. And, and, uh, and we talk about it. I hope that perhaps you will see yourself on stage and go through all those emotions of being by yourself, wanting to be uh, with the loved ones, a place of comfort, going through various forms of conflict and in the, and in the end wanting to let go and be free and be outside, let me out kind of thing, yeah. I really hope that quite a lot of artwork can keep telling that stories, to keep, keep that 
truth there and saying, look, this is the truth. The, it's all so fragile. The stability is fragile. <laughs>